profit models time series as a generalized uh, additive model combining the trend function, uh, the seasonality function, the holiday effects, and the error term in the model. Uh, I'm going to talk about each of those in details in the next few sections. Uh, first of all, the trend model can be modeled as a logistic trend model or a linear trend model. Um, the logistic trend model is based on logistic growth model, uh, the basic function where C is the carrying capacity, um, the K is the growth rate, M is the offset parameter. Here, here is an example uh, plotting the trend function with m equals to 0 and t from 0, 0 to 29, uh, which is 50 data points. Um, as we can see here, the carrying capacity and the growth rate may change over time uh, and the resulting uh, logistic growth model will look very differently. Um, profit took into account those changes um, by first change the carrying capacity uh, t from C to CT, um, assume that the carrying and the carrying capacity is a function of time, and secondly, assumes that the growth rate can change over time as well, um, with uh, with delta J change in growth rate at time sj, the growth rate becomes k plus the sum of all rate changes up to a point. Uh, another way to write this function is to vectorize the change delta as a vector and create another vector at uh, to indicate when the change happens. Then the growth rate at time t can be written as k plus a t transpose times delta. The um, combining those two different changes, uh, our final logistic trend model looks like this. Again, c t is the carrying capacity at time t. Uh, k is the growth rate a t transpose. Delta is the change in growth rate at time t. Um, M is the offset parameter. Uh, we have an extra parameter here, gamma, is calculated based on the other parameters to adjust the offset parameter to connect the endpoints of segments so that the function can be smooth. Uh, similarly, the linear trend model um, have a, uh, this is the slope, basically the growth rate and the change in the slope of this linear function, uh, at transpose delta, uh, which is the change in growth rate or slope at time t. m is the offset parameter or intercept of the model. Uh, again, gamma is to just uh, adjust, it adjust the offset parameter to connect the segments. So, in summary, what parameters are in the trend model? Again, here are the equations for the logistic trend model and the linear trend model. Um, in profit, CT is user defined. Um, the, the, uh, the offset parameter M, given a normal distribution of mean 0 and uh, variance 5, this is the default in the model. Uh, SJ is uh, when the change when the change happens. Uh, this is automatically selected based on your data, uh, so we don't need to worry about it. Uh, delta J is how much the change happens at time SJ. It follows the Laplace um, distribution of um, the location parameter is zero. And the scale parameter is tau. Uh, tau regulates the trend flexibility. 
higher tail means higher trend flexibility. And finally, gamma is calculated based on the other parameters. Um, we don't need to worry about that one either. Uh, the second component of the time series model is the seasonality, ST. It is modeled based on the Fourier series, which is a combination of weighted cosines and sines, uh, can be written as XT beta. XT is a vector of uh, cosine and sines. Beta is a vector of weights. Uh, the N here represents the order of Fourier series, basically how many cosine and sines do you want in your model. Um, P here represents period. It can be um, a year, a month, uh, a week, or anything that you might define as a period. Uh, here is an example of the time series, uh, the Fourier series, and how the Fourier series may change um, regarding to A, B, and, and P. Here we assumed that uh, all the weights for A's are all the same, B are the same uh, for simplicity, uh, but in reality all the weights are can be very different. Uh, so what are the parameters in the seasonality model? For yearly seasonality, the default setting for uh, the order of the Fourier series is, is 10, uh, P the period equals to uh, 365.25. Uh, for weekly seasonality, uh, n equals to 3 and p equals to 7. Um, the, the, the vector of the weights beta follows a uh, normal distribution, uh, mean 0, and standard deviation sigma, uh, where sigma regulates the strength of, se of the seasonality. Uh, the final component, uh, the third component of the model is the holiday effect, HT. Um, it models the linear effect of the holidays, uh, which is a vector of a dummy variable, a one indicating holiday and zero non-holiday. Um, K is just the, uh, the effect of the holiday, uh, which follows uh, normal distribution of mean zero and variance um, 0.5. This is the default. So combining all three models together, we get the final model for our time series analysis. Um, follow um, normal distribution again. Uh, then based on the priors of the parameters in our data, we get find the maximum of posterior estimates for all our parameters. So that's basically how the math works. Okay, so in profit, um, there are several parameters we can tune in the model. Um, first of all, in the trend model, the default setting is to use a linear growth trend. Um, but we can't change it to logistic trend if you think that fits your question better or your data better. Um, also, the chain point prior skill on uh, tau can be changed. Um, we, uh, we have learned before that the, the change rate delta j at time sj follows a Laplace distribution with the uh, scale parameter tau. The default is 0.05. Um, but we can change this value to to higher values. Uh, higher value means more. I'm sorry, it should be just one more more flexible trend. Um, and the third layer we have the change point range. The default value is 0.8 in profit, um, which means the change points um, can only apply to 80% of the data to better project forward and avoid overfitting at the end. Um, but we can change this value to 
point nine if you want to apply change points to more data, or point seven if you want to apply it to less less data. Uh, but point eight is a good default value. Uh, for seasonality function, um, first first of all we can tune the seasonality prior skill. Um, we know that beta, uh, which is the vector of the weights um, of the Fourier Fourier distribution uh, Fourier series, the, the alphas and betas, um, the weights for the uh, cosines and sines follow a normal distribution. Uh, the default of the sigma is ten. Um, in the seasonality mode, the default is additive. Uh, which means the model combines the uh, the seasonality uh, with the trend function, add them up together. Um, but we can also define it as multiplicative if you think your seasonality function uh, grows with the trend. Um, so instead of we use gt plus st, we can use gt times st here. The yearly seasonality, uh, the default is false. The data doesn't fit yearly seasonality. Um, but if you set the yearly seasonality equal to, equals to true, the default order of the Fourier series is 10, as we said before. Um, higher value corresponds to higher frequent changes. Uh, we can change this value if you think uh, we should fit more cosine and sine in your data. And lastly, weekly Cincinnati, um, the default in the model is true. Um, the order of the Fourier series is three. Um, higher values corresponds to higher frequent changes. Uh, again, the P here is seven, and P for the yearly Cincinnati is uh, 365.25. Those normally, we don't change those. We don't need to tune those parameters. The only thing we need to tune here is the is the n, the order of the Fourier series. Um, for holidays, we can tune the holidays prior scale. Um, the default value is 10. Lower values meaning lower holiday effects. Uh, reducing the value can avoid overfitting. So if you think you you have a strong holiday effects, you can increase the value. Uh, but if you think the holiday effect the holiday effects it might be overfitting or should be smaller. Uh, you can reduce the value. Uh, there are several other ish, uh, features in profit uh, you should consider using your model. First is the locations of the change points, SJ. Um, it is automatically detected, as we said before, um, based on your data. To to find uh, they find the best SJ to uh, to fit your data. It can be specified using change points equals a list of dates. Um, so you can specify your own change points dates if there is a product launch or anything important like that. Uh, you want to specify your change points. Um, you can also specify seasonalities. The default um, seasonality component in the data is the weekly seasonality. Uh, we can add the yearly seasonality by setting yearly seasonality equals to true. Um, if you want to add any other types of seasonalities, for example, monthly seasonality or quarterly seasonality, you can use add seasonality function. Uh, another great thing about profit is that we can add additional regressors. We can add uh, those regressors simply using add regressor function. This is like the great, the, the greatest feature in profit ever because all the other time series models uh, cannot easily add regressors and give us um, effects of those re regressors. Profit makes it really easy to add different regressors 
uh, and see those effects. And finally, um, when we model this time series and predict the future, uh, we get the confidence interval, uh, which is the uncertainty in our data. In the trend model, we assume there, there are similar trends in the future, similar trend changes in the future. Uh, therefore, higher chain point prior skill lead to higher uncertainty. And but for seasonality, uh, we don't have this kind of seasonality, of uh, this uncertainty embedded in the model. Therefore, we need to use uh, MCMC sampling, sampling to keep the uncertainty in seasonality.